Hey everybody, my name is Sam. Welcome back to SamCraft. Today is going to be a little bit of a shop vlog. I'm doing a couple things down here in my workshop and figured I'd bring you guys along. Talk a little bit, show a little bit, tell a little bit, have a little fun. So, first up, what do we want to talk about? Let's talk about new stuff in the workshop. First up is what I'm wearing. This is actually a gift from one of my viewers, Wendy. What's her name? I'm pretty sure. Wendy, if you're watching, thank you so much. This is a smock or a Turner smock. Um, it's something I had on my Amazon wish list and was going to buy myself, but you beat me to it, and I love it. For those who don't know what a smock is or why I would want one, basically it's a zippered up shirt and it's made to be worn in your workshop. That way I can get sawdust or wood glue or oils or whatever on this and keep my nice clothes cleaner, which makes my wife happy and me happy. So happy, happy. We just got back from the wood store or woodworking store in our nearest city, which is Asheville in North Carolina. And I love this particular store because they have what they consider scrap bins in the basement and you're able to dig through and get all sorts of stuff. I picked up about uh, about five of these two by four, I wanna say these are Hemlock Old Barnwood cutoffs. They're about two feet long. I've got a plan for taking those, sawing them in half and making a decorative backdrop for some of my product photography so that my utensils and stuff that I make looks prettier in a picture. So I've got that to resaw. I also picked up a couple of chunks of ash. Here is some eight quarter or two inch thick ash here. And that's gonna become utensils, um, possibly some little like bowls or spoons or something along that line. And then over here, I picked up some more eight quarter ash. And uh, the cool thing about this is the ash and the hemlock wood was $1.15 per pound. So I got all this wood here on a heck of a deal because they're scraps. Apparently there's local furniture makers or woodworkers in the city or in the area that they get their cutoffs from and they sell them to people like me. So I love it, it's great. Hopefully they don't ever change that. I didn't get it at this trip today, but the other day I was there, I got some of this walnut and it's um, four quarter walnut, so it's an inch thick, surfaced on four sides, really, really good looking stuff for I think $1.99 per pound. That was also in their scrap. As was a bunch of cherry. Got a handful of these. These are probably two by two blanks. And yeah, they got some bad spots here and there, but a dollar a pound, can't beat it. Not in my area at least. And then lastly, right over here, there are some two by twos. That was not from that woodworking store, it's from a different one, and that was not cheap prices. But. Those are destined to be French style rolling pins. All right, the other thing I got today was an early Christmas present from my wife, Angela. And that was one of these easy wood tools. Yeah, easy wood tools, carbide round turning tool. I have been looking at these for ever since I started getting into turning. So two years plus, and I just haven't ever really felt like I could swing it money wise and stars didn't align until today. So I got one of those and I'm gonna use it over here on my lathe to turn a couple of push sticks that I make. I've got a couple of orders in that I need to fulfill and get them packed up to ship out today. And I'll probably turn some other stuff. So I think that's about it for right now. I'm gonna go ahead and put you on this fancy high dollar GoPro mount here. It's a whole French cleat system. Oh yeah, you're jealous. And put this here and do some turning for a while, but let you guys come along too.
Oh well, yeah, that worked out pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and change gears just a little bit and go ahead and turn a couple of French style rolling pins. So I'll do that and I'll catch up with you guys in just a little bit. Well, I hit a snag on this walnut French style rolling pin I've been working on. I found some cracks and a little bit of a hole or a pit from like a branch in the tree deep inside. So I built up some epoxy wells using a hot glue gun, a little bit of a shop trip, chick trip thing, you know, hack there. But I've got to let the epoxy cure for a while. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this off the lathe and keep working on a couple other things and set this in the corner. So. I can't do that holding the camera, so let me set the camera over here. Over here. Over why? Over here. Let's just do this. No. No. Take two. Aha. Uh -huh. All right, changing gears back to making a couple more push sticks. We'll do that. Well, that was kind of funny. So I just went back and reviewed the footage I shot and I talked for a while on time-lapse and uh, you guys didn't really hear what I said. So let me repeat myself. Here's a little shop trip. Why I have so much trouble saying that? Shop tip or trick? Shop trip, shop tip, shop tip. Yeah, we'll see. Here's a shop tip for oiling small utensils or items. Put your oil and your utensil in a gallon Ziploc bag and mush it around and use that as your finishing method. It's really great. It's a very low mess. It enables you to sit the item around and soak specific ingrain or specific sections. And then also enables you to, when you're done, what I do at least, is I kind of put the piece up near the top Kind of sit it somewhere like that and let it drip and collect down at the bottom and reclaim as much of that oil as I can so that I can save it for the next project. That being said, this is now soaked for a while, at least an hour. So I'm going to get some paper towels off of my pallet wood paper towel rack. Oh yes, it's still here and I do use it. So let me spin you around here a little bit. The trash bags are kind of unwieldy. They uh, they do what they want to do. Yeah, whatever. All right, a couple of paper towels, and uh, hey, come back over this way. Let me pull you over here, and we'll go ahead and get this out. But I need to move some of this wood away, um, out of the way, so I can have room. I'll let that sit like that for now. So I ripped resawed a bunch of the barn wood down to three quarter inch roughly thicknesses and this will make a really cool backdrop or something I'll put a bunch of these together I'll probably oil it maybe with a dark Danish oil or something to give it more of a 
a dark look and less than a less of a silver look but I think that'll be really cool for my backdrops for utensils so I've got ten of those and then I've got the five boards that have been cut on both sides so they kind of revealed their grain pattern and old nail holes and stuff this is really really cool this one in particular caught my eye because of those growth rings look how close together they are this is old wood it's old growth wood and we don't have this anymore in America so these are very special I don't want to just toss them or let them get used up for some project unknowingly so I'm gonna put them together and probably sit them over next to my other more expensive wood like an exotic turning blanks and stuff like that so let me clean up this area a little bit and then we will get the utensil out and I'll let you guys see that all right let's go ahead and get this out of here this is a hard maple oven push stick that we had one of our subscribers on our homestead channel by I don't know if she watches here or not if so let me know this is your push stick that you ordered fresh out of the oil some really nice looking grain figures here a little bit of figuring and uh, very pretty I love maple so I'm gonna go ahead and let this sit for a couple of hours so I'm gonna wrap it up a little bit loosely and take it up to the house this will allow a little bit more of the oil to soak into this and then I'll clean the rest of it off and everything before packing but here we go all right last thing while I'm down here I've got this chunk of walnut which is actually a board that was cut jointed to match and then glued together to make it look kind of like a slab I need to do a little bit of sanding on this I want to put some oil on it I want to use it as a backdrop for taking photos um, Angela was down here earlier my wife Angela and she looked at it she's like that is really pretty I would use that as a cutting board so who knows this may not be here as a prop for long I may finish it proper and get it set up and see if someone wants to buy a cutting board like this um, I think it's really pretty so let's do that you want to do that let's do that all right since this has been glued I'm not going to use my expensive oil that I use for my vegan utensils I'm just going to use some walrus oil cutting board oil All right, that was awesome. It worked out good for pictures. So this tool, the Easy Wood Tools Round Carbide Tip Cutting Tool, I love it. It is awesome. I used it a lot for today's projects. And it was super handy. So I'm very glad I got it. If you guys are wood turners and you've never used carbide tools, they're not all made equally. And I would highly recommend this one. So I'll put a link to it below. If you want to check it out, it is affordable as far as carbide tools go and as wood turning stuff goes as well. Well guys, I think that's going to be it for this session in the workshop and it for this first little shop vlog video thing. If you liked it, remember, leave me a comment below. Tell me you liked it. Um, if you want to see something in my shop that you saw in the background I didn't show or if I forgot to tell you something, give me ideas as well. Um, this is a very easy video style for me to shoot while I'm down here working and doing stuff. For those who don't know, part of my income is derived from the things I make in my workshop. So I am down here a lot and I don't always have the tree time with projects and things on my work list to stop and do dedicated videos. So this kind of vlog style video is pretty easy to shoot, give you guys some content, some behind the scenes stuff, you know, that kind of thing. So if you liked it, remember, leave me a comment below. If you have any ideas, questions, or things you'd like to see me do or vlog about that's easy to shoot kind of down and dirty raw, I'd love to have those ideas too. Otherwise, I appreciate you guys watching, and I'll see you next time in the workshop. Yeah.